As a mom, I would like to know what his last moments were on this earth. What we're looking for is that magic phone call for somebody to call in and say, hey, this is what I saw, this is whom I saw, and this is the information that I need to give you. Good evening, and thank you for joining us for another Northeast Ohio edition of Crime Stoppers Case Files. I'm Bob France. There are over 1,400 Crime Stoppers organizations operating around the world. These organizations empower citizens like you to become directly and anonymously involved in fighting crime in our communities. We see the positive impact of this every day in Northeast Ohio as Crime Stoppers has become an important law enforcement tool, a proactive approach to removing dangerous criminals from the streets and making them safer for everyone. Each week on this television program, we'll share facts with you from unsolved cases, and you'll have the opportunity to submit information that may help investigators, possibly earning yourself a cash reward without ever having to give your name. Let's get to work. At 9 o'clock in the evening, on Christmas Eve 2011, kids were playing outside on Holder Avenue on Cleveland's east side when they heard gunshots and then saw two men running from an abandoned house. The kids approached the house and found 25-year-old James C., a local artist and poet, dead from a gunshot wound to the head. Here's the tragic story. This is my son, James C. Howard, affectionately known as JJ. JJ was my oldest grandson, and uh, we had a, a great time with him, as you can imagine. When he was a little boy, his grandmother and I uh, would take him shopping and uh, as we go, would go down the aisle where there was candy being at, I would reach and, you know, give him a piece of candy. And I often referred to him as my man. And so one day we were out shopping, we were going down the aisle where the candy bin was, and he leaned back and snapped his fingers and said, candy, my man, my man, candy. And so that's probably one of my, one of my fondest, funniest memories of my grandson. Well, and then as he continued to grow, you know, he had a lot of family involvement, was supportive. He was a real inquisitive fellow, asking about everything. Uh, Mom, why is this? Dad, why is this? James was an academic star, as we used to call him. I went to many honor roll dinners, honors, awards, and I was the mom of a presidential award honoree. And he was a poet. Uh, he, wrote, he wrote extensively. Uh, so he was real, real talented uh, along those lines and, and read a lot. And, and, but I think his poetry and his paintings were uh, exhibited probably the, his greatest gift in, in terms of his hobbies. As a grown man, James expressed himself through his art by drawings and on his clothing. J.J. was known by all he meant as a polite and courteous young man. You know, at this day and age, unfortunately, we've got a lot of young people who are involved in drugs and gangs, but we were blessed in that J.J. was not involved in those, uh, you know, in those things. Um, he was not in, his, in, in any gang, he didn't do drugs, so those kinds of things we didn't have to worry about, so we were, we were real blessed. He was a real joy to be with. You would have really liked J.J. I'm Detective Lim Griffin, Homicide Unit, Cleveland Police Department. This investigation deals with the homicide investigation of Mr. James Lee C. On this date, December 24, 2011, uh, an unidentified black male was found in, the, in an abandoned home, two-family uh, dwelling, at the address of 10915 Holder Avenue. Uh, he was unidentified at that particular time, but was identified later as Mr. James Lee C. Um, what had happened, there were two juveniles that were walking down the street, and as they approached the house of 10915, they heard an argument uh, within, inside. Inside their home, the crime scene consisted of two rooms, uh, one room in which the body was in, and the second room consisted of some of his belongings. We assume there may have been a struggle from one room to the other. After the struggle, uh, one of the suspects pulled a weapon and shot Mr. C, and uh, both suspects left the home. And my dad called my son and asked him, are you gonna be home? 
And so my son said yes. And so I said, ooh, ooh. I said, your grandfather coming to see you. Ooh, you in trouble. I said, you get a personal visit from grandfather. So when we looked out the window, I seen my dad and his wife, Deb, and my husband. And I said, wait a minute, Julian. I said, this is a little bit too special. And so when I opened up the door, I could see on everybody's faces that something was terribly wrong. And so I thought it was going to, I knew it was going to be a death call. But I thought it would be, you know, my 93-year-old grandma in California or something like that. And they told me that my son had been murdered. Welcome back to Crime Stoppers Case Files. Crime Stoppers is a safe way to positively impact our community. And here's how it works. Hi, I'm Cuyahoga County Sheriff Bob Reed. Crime Stoppers was designed to give concerned citizens a chance to catch criminals without risk. It works like this. When you call in your tip, you receive a code number. If your tip leads to an arrest, your code number is written on an envelope and the envelope is filled with reward money in cash. When the suspect is arrested, you call Crime Stoppers and you get the pay date and location. You go to the location on that date and you give them the number and they give you the envelope and ask you to count the money. Once you count it, you're done. You never give your name, you never sign anything. No one ever knows who you are. It's that simple. On this date, December 24, 2011, uh, a unidentified black male was found in, the, in an abandoned home, two family uh, dwelling at the address of 10915 Holder Avenue. He was unidentified at that particular time, but was identified later as Mr. James Lee C. Um, what had happened, there were two juveniles that were walking down the street, and as they approached the house of 10915, they heard an argument uh, within, inside. We assumed there may have been a struggle from one room to the other. After the struggle, uh, one of the suspects pulled a weapon and shot Mr. C and uh, both suspects left the home. The two juveniles that were walking uh, saw two African-American males leave out from the rear of the yard. Once they got to the street and sidewalk, they began to run. Uh, we, we assumed that these two suspects had something to do with this homicide. Um, as I mentioned, the boys heard arguing from within the home. Uh, no gunshots were heard. Uh, we assumed that this argument came from these two males uh, and after which they left the home. We assume uh, the argument could have been over the shooting death of Mr. C. Out of curiosity, these teenagers went inside the home and observed the body of Mr. James uh, Lee C. Uh, we came to two conclusions uh, uh, as far as him being in that house. Um, possibility of him being lured to the house uh, under the pretense of, of uh, renting him a room or wanting him to see a, a location where he can live, or just uh, people not understanding him. As a mom, I would like to know what his past moments were on this earth, but I am secure and that he is okay. You can help me and my family a great deal if you will call Crime Stoppers and let them know any information that you might have. My name is Detective Lim Griffin, Cleveland Police Homicide Unit. The number to the homicide unit is 623-5464. If anyone knows of anything that can help this investigation close this investigation, please notify us. This is dealing with the 92nd homicide of uh, 2011. Hello, my name is Charles C. Many of you may recognize me from my work with the community reentry program here in Cleveland. I've helped thousands of individuals returning to the community after a period of incarceration. Today, I and my family are here asking for your help. My grandson, James Howard C. Jr., affectionately known as JJ, was murdered on December the 24th, 2011. His body was found in an abandoned house 
in the 10900 block of Holder Avenue shortly around 9 p.m. Many of you know what it is to lose a loved one to violence. If you can help me and my family find those that were responsible for JJ's murder, we would greatly appreciate it. There is a $3,000 reward for information leading to the arrest and conviction of anyone responsible for JJ's murder. If you have any information, call Crime Stoppers. All caller information is kept strictly confidential. We thank you, and your help is really, really needed.